Hey Finkses, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finkses.com and in today's video you're going to learn about the Python edition operator and we are going to cover a lot of ground so let's dive right into the into the topic. So Python um, provides the very basic addition operator and uh, let's maybe start with an example. You can use it for example on two numerical values such as integers or floats and uh, you like intuitively it just adds together those numbers. So this is the most basic case and uh, we will look at like more advanced examples and also how, how the type conversion internally works and actually how you can override uh, and create your custom addition methods on your own custom uh, methods using magic methods and um, uh, custom objects using magic, magic methods. Okay, so, uh, so let's uh, stay with the integer example for a moment. Uh, so if you add together, together like two different values, we, we simply get the mathematical sum. We also can add together um, negative and using some parentheses to actually order the uh, precedence of the of the addition operator like this okay so for example minus 99 plus minus 1 is minus 100 right and you can also like use parentheses to actually um, to actually define the order of um, of the, of some operations for example you can have uh, 99 plus 9 and say times two, something like this, okay, it's, which is 216. But then if we, if we wouldn't have the parentheses, then for example, it would look like this. And now you can pause the video and think about uh, this code snippet, what would be, be the result? So uh, it actually first, now it first calculates um, uh, uh, the multiplication operator and then it adds together uh, the, 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 the sum. So it doesn't go from left to right, it actually uses the proper mathematical uh, precedence operations. Okay, so, and you can also use addition on, on uh, with some float values, but uh, just, just keep in mind that float is infectious. So if you have say one integer and um, you, you add a float to an integer, so any, like, if, if any single element of an of an, of of the plus operator, any operand is a float value, then the whole result will will become a float as well, right? So if we, uh, for example, have one float on any side on any operand, then the result will be a float. And of course, you can also add together two floats. So you see the uh, the plus operator works with different type different data types and. Um, in fact, you can also use uh, uh, the plus operator on strings. And how does this work? So you can simply, for example, add together two strings like this. So you create a string on the left, string on the right, and we use the plus operator on strings. And this basically simply concatenates the string. So you have the first string, and you glue together the second string uh, to the end to the to the end of the of the first string. Okay, like this. And you see, I left an empty space here. Um, so the empty space plus Python string is just added or glued together uh, to the end of the of the first string. And basically it creates a new string object. So in Python, everything is an object. Strings are also objects. Strings are immutable objects. They cannot be changed after creation. So you cannot, for example, um, append a new element to, to a given string or so. A string simply does, it never changes. And therefore it's like a fixed va value in the, in the memory. And if you try to change it, for example, with the string concatena concatena concatenation, it simply creates a new string um, and gives you the new string object, okay? So our new string object now is learn Python. You can also use the plus operator or the addition operator on lists. And in this case, the semantic changes again. It's also, uh, it is not, it does not like element wise add together some elements or so as you would expect. If you want to do this, you need to use the NumPy library. Then of course you can add together like vectors, for example, add one vector to the other vector and then it would, it would perform element wise addition. But in this case, it would, it just glues together one list to the end of the other list, uh, right? So you have, uh, it creates a new list object again. It doesn't work on the existing object. So we have a new list consisting of the elements in the first list and the elements of the second list uh, by extending the, the, uh, our new list. So we have actually all elements of all lists in the uh, specified order. So the order of the elements doesn't change. So and why is that? Why, why does, doesn't they use like element wise addition or so? I mean, the reason is simple. So we can also have something like a list of lists, for example. Yeah. And then it wouldn't make sense. And we can, we can even have different data types in a given list in Python. And 
something like this, yeah, and different number of elements as well. So in this case, I mean, the only semantics, in my opinion, that makes sense here is to actually use uh, list concatenation. So the creators of Python, I think, made a sensible choice of, of uh, implementing the add operator this way. Speaking of which, how can you implement your own semantics um, 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 for your own custom object? So let's dive into this. This is called magic methods and we will we will have a look in, at an example where we create a, um, two baskets so say we have um, we we go shopping we have like you have a basket and your friend has a basket and you both put things into your each, your uh, individual baskets and later you decide ah let's let's just throw everything together in one basket and we we uh, purchase the, the goods um, um, at once for example yeah something like this you can you can implement it in python using uh, defining your own class basket and we have a constructor method in it uh, always takes the first the first uh, uh, argument is always a reference to the object itself and then we call self.contents so we create an attribute on this class and we fill in our content so this is how we can now create a basket and um, so very simple uh, class definition and so for example now we can do the following my basket is maybe consists of say so we call basket and we pass a list into it i have purchased banana apple and some juice for example and we ha you have another basket your basket and you have purchased say some bread and butter something like this okay so now we have two different baskets and now what we actually want to do is something like this so we want to uh, merge our baskets so we have a new variable our basket and it should store like the sum of my basket plus your basket and then we simply print our basket contents yeah so our basket is actually it should be should be an uh, bas should be an object of the class basket, so therefore it ma it should have the uh, attribute contents, and we simply want to print our merged basket. But if you run the code now, it tells us unsupported operand types for plus basket and basket. So what does it mean? Yeah, basically we have um, basically we have and um, here we perform so my basket and your basket are variables. Of the type basket, right? So we create create uh, create uh, objects of type basket and assign those objects to the variable. So basically, the variable names now refer to those objects in memory. And um, now we try to actually perform the plus operator, the addition operator, on these two um, objects. But it is not defined. So what does it actually mean to add together two baskets? For example, we could like there are many possible semantics. Say we have uh, even more attributes then it, it wouldn't be trivial to actually merge those attributes we could merge them in a sum we could merge them in a max operation we could like how for example what how ex how ex how can you how can you add together two objects of type basket uh, the python engine cannot figure it out so you have to explicitly tell the python engine how to do this and you can do this using using the dunder add method it's one of the magic methods and we will soon have a course in the Finkster Academy about the uh, magic methods uh, created by Finkster creator G Girish. He's an excellent video creator, so you can check out the Finkster Academy and uh, and uh, t check out the course on the Finkster Academy as well. Uh, it will pr probably, if you watch this video, it may already be online, maybe not, but uh, it will be soon. And um, okay, and how can we define? Uh, like how now we need to define the addition. So we have a reference to ourself, to the instance on which it is called and on the other objects so basically this one so for example if my basket would be the first operand then this would just be a shorthand um, syntactical sugar for this execution right so we have my basket we call the dunder method add on this and pass a reference to the other object as well okay and um, so this is basically just syntactical, this plus operator is just sy syntactical sugar for this calling of the magic method. So therefore we need to now ha define a return value here. So we, we indicate that we return something out of this method uh, using the return statement. And then we create a new basket, right? So we want to return a new basket object so that we can actually 
call our basket dot content. So we need a new basket. Okay, and how the, how how do we actually now define the new basket? Basically, we we want to have all goods in our um, in our first basket objects and add together. So concatenate using list concatenation uh, because self dot contents now is a list. Uh, we now concatenate this with other dot contents so with all contents of the other baskets right so and this is like in this in our example this one would be banana apple and shoes because here we we pass those into the um, variable contents and then assign the variable contents to the attribute contents indicated by self dot contents so basically self dot contents now contains banana apple shoes and the other object is your basket and your basket was created here your basket we passed uh, this list into the contents attribute and this list consists of two objects bread and butter okay so this one basically we concatenate banana apple and juice with bread and butter and put everything into a big list and this list now here this is one list input so before we even create the object we evaluate this list um, we basically create this list in memory and now we pass it into the basket constructor so now it would uh, would like uh, refer to this uh, add to this um, argument of the constructor and we then assign self dot content so we assign the um, result of this of this variables to our attribute self dot contents okay and then we print everything and if you run the code we see the result is a list with all the contents so so in either uh, basket right and um, yeah so this is how you can basically define your own custom um, addition operation on your on your custom objects and how it is done in python so this is a very uh, like advanced uh, so called magic method okay so um, now another another interesting example i found is to um, to create a simple program in Python, taking the user input and adding together some provided numbers. So this is uh, pretty f uh, straightforward. So say we uh, we use the input function. We can have a prompt like this first number. So we ask the user for the first number input and the second number input. And the result of this is our two variables, each containing a string value, right? So we need to convert um, the strings to integers using the built-in int function. We pass the numbers into, so the string representation into the int function. And uh, at this point, our variables num1 and num2 would, um, would be integers, right? And in the next step, we simply create a variable result and we add together num1 plus num2. And in the fourth step, step we simply print everything so we have num1 we use the plus operator and here we use the print statement with a comma separated list and this basically means that print all the contents in like all arguments separated by a single space and um, it implicitly converts all arguments to strings so even if you pass an integer like here num1 would be a, a num1 and num2 would be integers it simply converts the integers to, to strings and we print everything and now we get the following program that takes the user input say 40 and 2 and gives us a sum 42 okay so uh, this is a simple program that takes user input and uh, calculates the sum of two uh, two, two um, plus o operators um, so maybe let's have another quick example how you can um, chain together multiple so th the plus operator multiple times so say you have three variables x uh, y and uh, z for example now you we can also chain together the plus operator multiple times like this x plus y plus z and basically this would be exactly the same execution flow as this uh, this one given by the parenthesis okay so we first calculate x plus y which gives us an integer number as well as defined by the uh, magic method add implicitly by python and uh, this now would result in a single integer value and now we simply perform this um, addition operate, uh, operation again okay so i think uh, these are the most important things you things you need to know about the python addition operator thanks for watching the video and see you in the next video bye